Okay, continuing with databases, uh, SQL is not the only uh, database interface language or system. Uh, there are quite a few others. Um, so, we should look at uh, a number of these and the related security issues. Um, Starting probably with Open Database Connectivity, uh, ODBC. Um, this is um, a fairly standard, widely implemented. Um, this is probably uh, going to be more if you are um, involved with uh, designing your own uh, combination of database engine at the back end and uh, whatever kind of front end you want and using ODBC as uh, well kind of a middleware um, <clears throat> involved in uh, standard calls to the the engine uh, if you want I mean it it allows you to change the back-end database without changing your front-end uh, interface programming um, and uh, you know, it it gives you that that flexibility. Um, so uh, that's you know primarily uh, uh, what happens there. Well, um, well, yeah, might as well uh, mention the username and password are uh, stored in plain text in this, and so uh, they are uh, stored in in plain text, and and they're you know, not really protected in, in transit. So um, this is not a good idea maybe to do with something that you are using over the internet or other public network. Uh, so um, just be aware of, of these issues. Um, uh, you know, the actual call and return data are sent as, as clear text. So, you know, anybody's going to be able to, to look at that. Um, and... Uh, you know, you should be doing some access control as well on that because um, you should be verifying the, the access level of the user. Um, you know, anyway, uh, on we go. Uh, there's other things that are even worse. Um, object linking and embedding. Uh, now, this is a Windows thing. Uh, and CISSP is, is not, you know, vendor specific, but it, this is something you should know about. Uh, this is the only argument I ever really run with uh, Veslan Bonchev, who uh, uh, is, has an annoying habit of giving the impression that he, he thinks he knows everything, which is even more annoying when you realize that he actually does know everything. Um, and in a discussion one time, I uh, made the statement that it's trivially easy to embed any file, including, you know, viruses and malware, in any OLE object uh, file. And uh, he said, no, it's not. Uh, and uh, I said, yes, it is. And uh, other people joined the conversation. Veselin went silent. And when Ves goes silent, you know he's going away to do research, and he's going to come back and nail your hide to the wall. So, uh, Veselin came back uh, shortly thereafter and said, it is trivially easy to embed any uh, entity in an OLE file. So, um, you know, I was feeling my neck until he actually said that. But, um, yeah, uh, you, you can do that. You know, OLE uh, sort of links, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff in, in Windows um, including uh, database connectivity. So, um, ActiveX, ActiveX data objects. Again, another Windows thing, ActiveX. Of course, we've got all the uh, problems of ActiveX itself, um, including the fact that it relies for security on the Authenticode system, which has been proven to be broken and uh, will, you know, maybe go into that uh, probably in uh, um, the crypto domain because most of it belongs there um, 
Java database connectivity. Again, Java um, had a brief moment. I mean, really, it was intended to be, you know, part of this um, network object model, the applet designs and everything. So, you know, people knew that they were going to be using Java for all kinds of things and all kinds of things with regard to computer programming is either processing or databases. So database connectivity for Java. Um, extensible markup language. Now I, uh, you know, SGML, HTML, uh, XML, extensible markup language is, is tried to, to broaden this uh, to all kinds of ways, and, and one of them, of course, is, is going to be databases. So um, we have a, a, quite a variety of the uh, uh, connectivity uh, systems, um, and just you know, be aware of the, the possible potential problems that need to be addressed um, in uh, using those kinds of systems.